This is Josh, APTV. We're live here backstage, Aftershock, Corey Taylor, star of uh, Film and Screen. How are you? Yeah, film and Screen. Film is, that's the same thing. It is. What's wrong with it? Well, there's like movies and cinema. And well, okay. Well, yeah, sure they are. Yeah. Or, you know, the, the prime VOD guy right, right here. So, you know, anything well, video on demand, I'm your man. So. I, I d often demand your videos. I know you do. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's how they go. You guys are headlining again. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I feel like you're a great opening band, but for some reason you're headlining this festival. We do have we do have a great track record for opening opening shows. Opening shows. Thank and, you for and, that. Uh, and uh, no one wants to follow that, but no. Um, no. You guys have had a you know a great tour. You're out with Suicidal Tendencies yeah, right now, yeah. legendary band. How what's that been like for you guys? It was awesome, dude. I mean, they're they're one of those bands that I grew up listening to. I grew up loving. You know, he, you know, Mike's one of the reasons why I do this. Right. And to take them out and kind of show them that respect as well and then to be able to watch them every night was great and it was just a mutual respect that was just so awesome right you know? so it's been it's been fantastic and then the inner band uh, uh Beartooth oh great young band uh really hot did really great I mean it's just been it's been fantastic so Corey recently you know, we had the pleasure at AP of having you on stage performing yep. with Hailstorm yep. doing Hunger Strike what was that experience like that was awesome you know that band is amazing you know and I, I've I've toured with them off and on over the years. I've seen them kind of come up and really earn everything that they've been able to accomplish. You know, they cut their teeth, they are, they paid their dues, and to be able to kind of come back there and and kind of you know pay that back with them, it, it was it was fantastic, and the audience was great. Now I, I've been meaning to ask you because I saw it on Twitter this week. You've been you've been kind of starting a war with Corey Graves. I guess something happened backstage there. Like, tell yeah, us what, what's going yeah, on. Yeah, it was well, you know, because obviously is it fun? I'm, a, is it? I'm a fan, you yeah. know, but it got a little it got a little heated, you know, because there was obviously there was some kind of controversy over whether NXT was headlining or Slipknot was headlining. Well, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. You, we all know who's headlining, right? Right. I mean, I didn't want to have to point that out, and it got a little weird, but it was. Oh God! To show up, huh? This oh, guy. We're doing an inter interview. Thank you. Great. <laughs> I'll do it. So he wants to ask a question. I'm listening. And you just touched on it. Uh huh. NXT is headlining after Shock. Sure. How do you feel about that? Sure, sure. Um, I'm sure you're headlining the afternoon slot. Um, I'm sure you're closing maybe two or three of the the kitty stages, which I mean that's good. Good for you. That's fine. Um, but see the main stage. It's Slipknot. See, the main stage goes on way past your bedtime. So maybe... We're talking about bedtimes here. We are. Uh, I may have been worried about you and Slipknot and what you do back in 2003, uh -huh. 2004. Yeah. But now, 10, 12 years later, bedtimes for old people are early. Oh, okay, okay. For us superstars who steal shows, it doesn't matter where our placement is, yeah. what time it is, we steal the show. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. But it wasn't yours to steal. It wasn't yours to give. It wasn't yours anything. I mean, you guys are lucky to be here, you know? Well, and coming from NXT, a fan, that's kind of a big thing. NXT's big thing is take over. So we're uh -huh. here and we take over. Sure. So steal, take over, it doesn't matter. Slipknot will be following NXT. Yeah. And tomorrow, everything you see on Twitter, like you talked about today, words and actions. The words tomorrow will be NXT stole the show. And actions, those are a whole different thing. Now, you did show up today. I did. And there'll be action later in this ring today. Uh huh. And if you're man enough and tough enough like you think you are, you should sit front row. You should watch real men use actions. All right. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. If you honestly think you can steal the show from Slipknot, I will be front row, ready to watch. You better do your best. Okay, enjoy the show.